Well, joining me now is Oren Marmostein, Deputy Ambassador in Charge d'Affaires at Israel's Embassy in the UK. Thanks for coming into the studio. You heard him just now, Ahmed Tabassi. So he renounced violence, having spent time in an Israeli jail. He's trying to resist the occupation with theater, with drama. And every time he does so, and every time your IDF, your army, walks into Janine, he feels embarrassed. What's your response to him? First, thank you for having me, Matt. It's good to be here. I want to say something very clear just from the beginning. We operate, Israel operate, only against terrorists. I couldn't be more clear on this point. And um, you need to understand that we are operating in a very, I would say, almost impossible situation. And uh, if I may, I want to touch upon a very important event that ha happened just today. Another terrorist attack in Tel Aviv. You mentioned it. I know, I know. And, 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 um, and in this terrorist attack, unfortunately, yeah. a pregnant woman lost her child. The, the terrorist tried to run but, over civilians but, 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 and but, but, then went and stabbing them. Yeah. This is it's terrible. Brutal. It's a terrible tragedy. It's terrible violence. And there's a cycle of it every time. I just wonder whether, and I've been to the West Bank and I've been to Gaza, and what I've witnessed is the, the consistent humiliation degradation of the civilian population in those places, right? The civilian population, whether it's roadblocks, whether it's the denial of building permits, you make them feel like underdogs, like second-class citizens in their own country. That surely is a recipe for more violence. God forbid. Hey, and I, I want to address the, the issue that you just described in the, in the clip that you've shown, the, the issue of Janine. Unfortunately, in the last two years, Jenin has transformed from a city to a city of terror. It has become, and I think it was mentioned in the clip, it has become, it has transformed into a safe haven mm. for terrorists. And we are confronted in a situation in which you have three rivers, if I may, yeah. that are flowing to Jenin. The first river are terrorists coming from all over the West Bank. The second river, is a river of finance coming from Iran. And the third river is a river of weapons. And I think your Jean, reporter, yes. if, if I just may, if your reporter mentioned it, what would you expect if you're trying to shoot Israelis, what would you expect to do in return? And our only sole purpose here is to address the terror But it often elements. looks like, it often looks to people who live there like collective punishment. So let me just ask you one particular question. Even the Israeli army is very upset by the fact that armed Israeli settlers in the West Bank are using violence against Palestinians. They have called this, this is your army, has called this nationalist terrorism. What are you doing to rein in those settlers who are making the situation worse? There is no excuse against violence against uh, civilians. No excuse. Full stop. I want to uh, share with you the situation that we are confronted right now. We are confronted in a situation in which there are terrorists who are operating from a civilian setting. Just to, 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 to give you an example, we found in a mosque mm. terrorists hiding bunkers, hundreds of weapons and hundreds of explosive devices. This is in a mosque. If I just may, there was a nursery in sure. Janine with Bob Sponge drawing but, on, the, on the wall uh, with uh, ammunition. Okay. What kind of, okay, of, but of if, situation but if, is but if, I, but if I may, last year uh, you expanded settlements by 4,000 units. This year by 9,000 units. You're just expanding illegal settlements. It's a creeping occupation of the West Bank. No wonder there's going to be a response. I, I think what we're facing is terror that has no connection with the political situation. By the way, just in the last year, 52 Israelis, civilians, mm. were killed. So it has to do nothing with uh, politics uh, and policy. But it's all political, isn't it? And I wonder if it's a distraction. This is a distraction from the troubles that Mr. Netanyahu is having at home with his own corruption trial. I, 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 it couldn't be further from the truth. Mm. Because like I, I have mentioned, in the last year, 52 Israelis were killed. This involves two governments, mm. different governments. The, the last prime minister wasn't okay. a, right. a Netanyahu. So he, I think the, the, hardest, uh, the hardest situation that we are confronted in is how we encounter and confront only terrorists, okay. and All this right. is what we are trying so, to do. I'm sorry, we've run out of time. Mr. Marmostein, thank you very much indeed.